Hello and welcome to another um, HTML Canvas tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial we're going to use the arc2 method to draw uh, arcs on our canvas but we're going to, um, rather than using the um, arcs in the previous tutorial where we were able to create um, curves and then semicircles and circles with the arc, we're going to use the arc2 method to draw lines and then draw arcs from one point to another um, between different lines. So to get started we need to um, set up the canvas in the body section of our web page. So we'll create a canvas with an ID that we can use and we'll also um, specify the width and the height of this canvas. So I'm going to make the um, width 500 and the height can also be 500. So it's pretty big, but um, we'll just have a bit of extra room there to play around with. So canvas ID is my canvas. Width is 500, height is 500 also. And then in the head section, I'm going to add a style using the style tags. And I'll put the style information in between these two tags um, for that canvas. So I'll refer to it um, using its, oops, my canvas ID. Um, and I can specify the background, color, things like that, but I'll just leave that as white as default. So I'll just specify the border. So I'll say border, one pixel solid and black. Okay, just so we can see where the canvas is on the, um, on the page. All right, so we've got a style there, just a border, one pixel solid and black for our canvas, which is 500 by 500 in size. Okay, now the next part is go to the body section and add the script tags. So the opening and closing script tags. And then inside these script tags, that's where we're going to add our JavaScript function to draw out our lines and arcs. So we'll start by creating the function called draw. And inside this function, we'll set up the canvas. Um, so we'll um, set this up so that we can use the different canvas um, methods. So var ctx equals document dot get. So we're going to use the get element by ID method. So document dot get element by ID. My canvas, grab that canvas and then get context 2D. Okay. Um, first thing we'll do here is we'll create a line. So we'll say ctx dot move to and we'll set the x position 50 and the y position 50 on the canvas and then so that's where the line will begin and then we'll specify where the line will end so ctx dot line 2 and it will end at x position 200 and y position of 50 all right and then we can just say um, ctx dot stroke open open close bracket just need to we got one thing, we need to actually have this function run when the um, page loads. So we need to, add, after we create the function, we need to add a window.onload event. Window.onload equals draw, and that will run the draw function when the page loads. So save and refresh. There we go, so that's our line. Now we want to create, at this point on the line, we want to make an arc, and then another line going down. Okay, so after ctx.line to um, 250, we can add our arc from that point. So I'll use the arc2 method, so ctx.arc2, and in brackets, there's a few numbers that we can enter here. So I will just add a comment here to show in order the different um, numbers that you're going to be entering and what they mean. So firstly, there's x1 position. Okay, um, then there's Y1 position, then there's X2 position, Y2 position, and then the radius. Okay, so uh, our line that we already created starts at the X and Y positions of 50 and 50, and then it ends at the X position of 200 and the, X, the Y position of um, 50. So what we're going to do, we'll create an arc 
with an X1 position, so 250, and a Y1 position of 50, and then an, a Y2 position of um, 250, so an X, sorry, an X2 position of 250, a Y2 position of 100, and a radius of 50. So what's happening is um, we're actually, we're specifying the position of the arc and its radius. So the arc is actually um, going across. So it's going across. We have an X position here of 200 and a Y position here of 50 right here. Okay, so we swing the arc out so that it has a X position of 250 about here and a Y position of 50. All right, and then it's, um, so it's, it's the X1 and Y1 positions. Then the X2 and Y2 positions will be down here. So an X2 position of 250 um, and a Y position of 100. So it's moved down to a Y position of 100. And then the actual radius there is 50. So the arc will then have a radius of 50. So it will actually go um, out like that where I'm moving the mouse cursor. All right, so, um, so we've got all that information that we need in there. Now we can save that and refresh and there we go. Okay, so that's our little arc there with a radius of 50. Now we can create another line to continue on from that arc. So we can say ctx.line2 and in brackets, we specify the X and Y positions of where we want this line to go to. So um, we could keep this line on the X position of 250, but the Y position is going to increase. So the line will go further down the canvas to a Y position of 200. Okay, so save that. So when I refresh, the line should go from here and end around about here somewhere down here. So it will actually stay on the X, it's the same X position, but the Y position will increase. So refresh, and there we go. Our line ends there. So that's, um, that's basically how to use the arc two method to draw an arc from one point and end it at another point, specifying um, two, position, two X and Y positions and a radius. Okay, thanks for watching.